Hello everyone and welcome to this Figma tutorial. In today's video I'm going to show you how to design this interactive product card. Alright, let's begin. So let's create a new frame. Zoom in to 100 pixels. Create a new frame of let's say width 400 pixels and for the height 500 pixels. Alright, now let's create a new frame and rename it picture container and also create a rectangle inside it rename it image all right now let's go to unsplash and let's add an image all right now let's make sure our rectangle fit inside our picture container and in picture container let's add a border radius of 10 pixels next let's add our product text now let's add a button to the left side add a black button and radius of 25 pixels and add a plus sign center it and transform the button to auto layout all right let's center it 10 pixels by 10 pixels and let's go fix the width will be 32 and the height would be 32 so it will be a circle button let's duplicate the text let's go here hug content and also for the constraint let's align it to the right and let's add add to cut all right let's decrease the size to 16 or maybe 14 pixels let's keep this at 16 all right now for the first or for the basic uh, default state we'll hide this add to cart and keep just the plus sign and the last thing we're gonna create is let's create a new frame and inside that frame we create the color choices of our product so let's create four simple circles all right inside the frame let's transform it to auto layout and let's increase the space between until it fit the sides from side to side of the card and let's change the color something random just for the sake of this exercise all right something like that and i will decrease the size of my circles realign and again let's increase the space between all right and then in this default state we'll, um, we'll make the opacity of the frame to zero and we'll decrease the height of the card so we'll have something like that and for the frame let me add 10 pixels border radius let me center this and i will add a light drop shadow to contrast my card with the background all right now let's create a new component and create a second variant now in my second variant first i will um, all right i will increase the height of my card and i will transform this to full opacity increase the size and decrease the space between like that all right let's move this a little bit to the bottom and this also will increase but you know what let's go back let's remove this and let's transform this to auto layout and also group this together transform it to auto layout and let's transform all the cut to auto layout and let's add a 24 pixels by 24 buddings and let's decrease here the head all right and now i can create a new variant and my work will be much easier and consistent so the first thing i will increase the size of the image or the head will also increase the width of the image so we create this while hover on this uh, card we create this zoom effect also let's 
reveal the circles of my colors and decrease the space between so maybe we need some more height and let's add some scale in here right and decrease the space between something like that also last thing let's reveal our add to cart and maybe select here field container right and here auto now once we reveal all right something like that and let's connect this and select file hovering smart animate and gentle animation next let's create a new frame and uh, let me add the component let's see how it works all right all right it looks great exactly as i wanted now let me duplicate this card two times change the background color to a dark gray let's select the images and go to unsplash and add other images just to change the content and see an overall preview all right also let's change uh, the constraint to center and center let's go back all right as you can see in here i would like to rotate this plus sign let me rotate it 100 and 80 degree all right let's see as you can see if we rotate and maybe we have i think this would be better i hope this video was helpful and i created this tutorial using master ui components so please visit masterui.co to discover thousands of components to fuel your creative genius thanks and if you have any suggestion for the next tutorial, please feel free to share them by leaving a comment. See you in the next one.